Welcome back to a spooky Halloween edition of New Central. I'm the great and powerful floating head of Rick Devins. The World Series continues tonight and the Rangers are trying not to lose their heads as they trail the Giants by a game in the series. Aubrey Huff keeps a cool head under pressure. He already has eight RBI this postseason. Make that nine with things even in the third. Huff comes through with a two-run long ball, breaking the tie and giving Giants pitcher Madison Bumgarner a nice cushion to work with. And Bumgarner takes advantage early in this one. We'll have more coverage from tonight's game and the entire World Series tomorrow on New Central on Fox and on ABC. A quick heads up for NASCAR fans. The chase for the cup continues today at the most dangerous track in the sport, the Talladega Super Speedway. Jimmy Johnson has won four straight championships and he currently holds a six point lead in this chase over Denny Hamlin. And our first bit of Talladega carnage, Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets into Jeff Burton. Burton takes a lot of damage. Earnhardt's day is also over. Less than 10 laps after that, Marcus Ambrose is bumped. He spins into the path of Kevin Harvick. Harvick takes some damage also, but he's back in contention with two laps to run. That's when we get the big one. AJ Allmendinger loses control and goes hard into the wall. The race will end in a caution, but who won? Kevin Harvick and Clint Boyer finish neck and neck. They congratulate each other for a heck of a race. And when the results come in, Boyer gets the good news. Things aren't all bad for Harvick, though. He's now third in the cup standings behind Johnson and Hamlin. Uh, that was an ECR win right there. Um, Kevin coming on the outside. Juan pushing me. Uh, I want to thank Juan. I couldn't have done it without him. But uh, just uh, the bb and Chevrolet was strong all day long. And uh, have second come home second. It was awesome. Well, like my body, the Falcons have the day off, but we still have some great action from around the NFL, including a huge day from a former Georgia Bulldog. Matthew Stafford returns from injury today against the Redskins, and he blows up, throwing four touchdowns. Three of those touchdowns go to the former Yellow Jacket standout, Calvin Johnson, who also collects 100 yards receiving. The Lions beat the Skins 37-25, and Stafford's bragging on Johnson after the game. You know, I was, we were on the same page. It was great to see the whole day today. We were on the same page, um, which was fun. And, you know, I just tried to throw it, throw it at him and give him a chance, and he made a great, great play. I mean, the guy played unbelievable today, so... Uh, Stafford and Johnson are playmakers we all remember, and you may recognize this guy too. Tim Tebow is playing across the Atlantic in London. The Golden Boy collects the second rushing touchdown of his rookie season, but Tebow and the Broncos fall to San Francisco 24-16. And finally, there was some question as to whether Brett Favre would start today. He does, but he doesn't finish. After throwing for 259 yards and an interception, Favre is drilled by Myron Pryor. Favre leaves the game for some stitches on the chin. The Vikings lose to New England 28-18. So didn't get to watch the Falcons today, but a lot of their good football out there. We should have headed into our Halloween weekend with that performance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the over-under on head puns in yeah, that sportscast. We way, went way over. Way over your head. <laughs> That's you right. to put yourself back together, though, for, you know. You know, it's... You do what you can for this job, yeah. but sometimes you lose your head. I, I, thought, I thought you were going to lose your body there for a second. <laughs> All right, thanks, Rick. That was a great performance. Appreciate it. And let's look at our seven-day forecast for next week. All right, it's going to be a week of transition for the upcoming seven days. We're going to see another nice day for tomorrow, mild and sunny. Then we see the clouds moving ahead. Ahead of our next weather maker, temperatures only in the 60s on Tuesday, rain for Wednesday and Thursday. And then look at those temperatures taking a nosedive for the end of the week. Highs of 60s, eventually a high of 50 on Sunday. And we're going to be talking about frost for the upcoming weekend. So. Big changes on the way, guys. All right, moving out of Halloween and moving into winter. A new month, new weather pattern. All right, sounds Always great. Bud. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed your Halloween weekend. Thank you for watching New Central on Fox 24. And we wish you, everyone here at New Central, wishes you a happy Halloween. Join us again tomorrow at 530 right here on Fox 24. Have a good great night. Good night. night. <laughs> or a good morning.